like that. Maybe shoes a little, but definitely not uh, like having my own like merch and stuff like that. No. Nah. Why not? Too much hassle. Well, I just I just have no interest in it. So like, if I don't have any interest in it, I'm not gonna force myself. Yeah, to it. yeah. So that's why everything that I do, it's because I'm interested. So like the boxing, YouTube, music, like I'm interested. I love it. So that's why I do it. So people have told me, oh, would you want to do? Uh, podcasting and I'm like I have no interest in it so no or they, they, both, they could throw like 10, 20 million at me and I'm like no I, it's not money for me it's all about doing the stuff that I enjoy that's a very lucky position to be in isn't it well I've worked hard to be in this position no that's though. my next question <laughs> no no that is my next question well but... I mean no no but I mean like it's like I've definitely had to do things I didn't want to do like what? Um, well just like Make make certain videos that I didn't want to do, or you know, do certain press that I didn't want to do, or have to. Um, I'm trying to think, even like in the graft days. In the, I know it's all graft, but there's time well, when you graft even, for nothing, isn't there? Oh well, yeah, yeah. Just I guess even in like school, like there's things I didn't want to do, but I, you know, I did it anyway because it was the thing to do that I realized. Oh, okay, and maybe in the future it could lead to somewhere or lead to an opportunity somewhere. Whereas, yeah, now I'm, a, I'm in a space where I get to do whatever I want. But yeah, it's, it's not, you, you definitely, you have to work to it. You How old just, are you? I'm 29. Okay, normally people are saying that in their 50s. Yeah, the, yeah. No, they are, because I'm in that position. Yeah, I think, I think for me, I-, I Believe it or not, you know? I, I was definitely lucky with- That's put, what I mean. Well, I put all my eggs into the whole YouTube space. Mm. And I was very lucky that, that is a, that a space that was booming. But I, at the time, best believe, no one thought it was booming. <laughs> it was the space where everyone was like, why are you doing YouTube videos? So a lot of people were like very against it and saying, no, you shouldn't do it, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. You're wasting your time. You should you know, focus on your studies or you should focus on things that are more uh, attainable or substantial. Did mum and dad ever kind of say, why don't you go into law or why yeah, don't you yeah, go yeah. into I, yeah, I law yeah, yeah. or business so thing, or if medicine? I, if I had listened to my parents, would I be in this, posi this position? No. And like, would I be as happy? Probably not. But Are you happy? I'm happy now. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Incredibly happy. Are there days when you're not? I think, I wouldn't say, but yeah, but I think, yeah, of course. Everyone's, you know, there's unhappy days, but I think it's not because of what I do is because of like things out of my control that can make you unhappy. But you know, normally like I'm either just happy or just okay. Like there's days where I'm not even happy or unhappy. I'm just mid. <laughs> yeah. So, Are you happiest okay when you're creating, me. when you're, when you're, when you're creating new things, when you're kind of creatively satisfied? Um, I think if, if I work hard on something and create, for example, music, if I work hard and I'm able to create a piece of art that I'm super proud of, yeah, it's super fulfilling. And then for me to put that out there and it to be received well, like, yeah, it's it's a, it's a great feeling in general. Um, and just even with like boxing, like to train super hard, so hard and then get into the ring, fight someone and beat them easily or to knock them out, etc. It's like a great achievement. And you know, even a YouTube video, just making a YouTube video to make it hilarious and then you put it out there and people really like receive it well. Like, yeah, it's just all of that feels good. And I think that's why, that's one of the reasons why I do it. Cause yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. Let me get on to that boxing. I was there the other night and had a chat to Louis Theroux about that was you. It. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's fascinating, well, isn't mean, it? Obviously that... the documentary is coming out. Yeah, well, yeah, I think yeah. I was going to say that, that, um, you know, being a similar age to him and being having mm. been a journalist for 30 years, it's fascinating myself documenting you now where yeah. we do talk sport broadcasts yeah. from from the Misfits events yeah, and, yeah. you know, Heady One's doing your video, you know, doing your, your walk-ins yeah, and, yeah, yeah. The, you know, the, all the sidemen are there and it's a yeah. new generation of people and I was very impressed by them all. Mm. I think I did 15 interviews for talk sport that night oh, ringside oh, and... Really? There's not a shoulder rolling from people and a swagger. There's nah, a it's nah. a very cool generation. Well, I feel like it's a very real. We're kind of just like ourselves. You don't you don't have to pretend to be a certain person. You don't have to put a face 
or, or a mask on. You can just mm. be yourself and that's okay. Mm. And, you know, I think at the beginning of my career, I definitely put a face on and felt like I had to be a certain character to fit in or do well. Whereas now I'm just myself. Now I just, whatever is on my mind when it comes to interviews, I just say whatever I feel. You're being real all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Well, when Louis, when I spoke to Louis, he, I, I asked him why, <laughs> I asked him why, he was doing a documentary on you, and he said, "Well, it, it, this, these are these are, I'm 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 making documentaries about people who are leaders of our generations. Oh wow! Okay. So no, in the sense that okay. you, you, you you are mainstream. There was a time yeah. when you were all called YouTubers, but yeah. that's changing. It's it's yeah, it's, it's dissolving, isn't now. it? Yeah. Um, you know, you might go into politics one day. You, I really will not. No. Okay. All right. All right. You might <laughs> definitely but, not. But but but." You can still have an influence politically with young people, with people your age, with your generation, with the yeah. way you're being, and you do have an influence on people. Yeah, I, I, I guess, you know, the best thing I can do is always just influence people in the best way possible, but, you know, I'm human. <laughs> I'm going to make mistakes. So I think uh, also portraying that is important, showing people that, yeah, I'm not perfect. Like, I, I have taken several L's in my life, you know, and I've worked hard to you know, get to a point where I'm at now. I've, you know, failed several times. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, wanted to give up several times. I'm not a robot that just does well. And, you know, my relationships have failed because of me. And, like, I've messed up in you know, mm -hmm. previous rela relationships. So. What, love relation, romantic yeah, relationships? Yeah, 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 of course. So it's like, I'm not the perfect human being. I'm, I'm flawed. I'm a flawed individual, but I, what I guess makes me me is I look at all my flaws and I go, okay, how can I improve on that? You're open and, though, aren't you? Yeah, that, and make I think... sure I don't, you know, mess up again. And I think to make a mistake over and over and over again, that is, that's stupidity. That's, that shouldn't happen. If you make a mistake and then correct that and then improve through that, then yeah, that's how you become. Let's move to boxing because there's no bigger space than those yeah. things you're talking about than in boxing. Yes. Um, for a start, physically you look fantastic, <laughs> and and does that help when you're on camera all the time? When you're, do you feel better about yourself oh, yeah, that you're in course. shape? Yeah, no, I think because you were two stone heavier, weren't you? Yeah. So I, I think, yeah, I think last year I was definitely on the bigger side, and you know now I'm kind of just embracing the whole lifestyle of being a boxer and. You know, even when I'm not in camp, I'm still in shape and I'm still going to runs and I'm still exercising. Lifestyle. Yeah, it's a lifestyle now. And I feel like it's a happier, more enjoyable lifestyle. I just feel great about myself. And it puts mentally as well, puts me in a way better mindset because I just, I just, I just, just feel good. Yeah, I just feel good about myself. And You're being physical. We're meant to be well, physical, aren't well, we? Yeah, yeah. And I guess if, you know, not to, I mean, everyone's entitled to be whatever shape they want to be, but like, I think for me, like, it just made me feel so much better being the shape I'm in now compared to when I was just way bigger and I was just eating junk and I was just not caring, so, yeah. Your brother fought Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather. Yes, I was at yeah. the press conference and been involved with that. Mm. Is there any chance that you might step into the ring with him? Could you be the guy he comes to the UK to fight? I mean, look, you never know. We've, we've, we talked about it? Well, uh... Well, they're going to have to pay me way more money than they pay my bro. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's it's one of the things where I'm always interested in things. There isn't anything that's off the table. But it just has to make sense for me. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't like getting disrespected, especially negotiation-wise. So, uh, if we're, yeah, if it's not going to work, then it's not going to work. But if we can make it work, then, yeah, of course, I'm always down. I always feel like I'm able to win anything that I do. Like, I'm never going to say yes to something I don't think I'm going to win. So, yeah. Belief. Yeah. I, I, I have so much self-belief. But I feel like you have to. Mm. Yeah, like, <laughs> there's so many times, you know, even to this day where people don't believe that I can do certain things. People think Jake Paul is going to knock me out. I. Believe, Are you going to fight him? Yeah, that's the that's reason why I came back. That's definite, is it? Yeah, 100%. That's the reason why I've come back to boxing, to fight Jake Paul and knock him out. Because after I beat Logan Paul, I was like, oh, it's done. Like, you know, I, I've completed it. So let me just focus on music and do all the goals that I've set for there. And then, yeah, I got all those goals and, you know, I was grinding, grinding, grinding. 
And then obviously Jake Paul was seen as this guy and people were, you know, starting to disrespect my name, being like, oh, Jake Paul would destroy me in the ring, this is that, that. I was like, well, no, but okay, let me show you. So I've come back in the ring and I'm going to show everyone that when I fight Jake Paul, he's nothing. Do you reckon you can get that on at Wembley Stadium? Is, that, is that an ambition? Wembley Stadium. Um, a big Card stadium, Cardiff though. Arena, yeah. Emirates, like, there's venues, big venues that I think would be awesome for us to fight in. And uh, when do you see that happening? Uh, hopefully, end of next year, you know, touch wood, nothing happens. <laughs> War or <laughs> um, pandemic wise, but yeah, no, that's, that's the plan. And, and a final question um, yeah. to all your followers out there, you've got millions and millions of subscribers, very, mm. m many of them young people, mm. <clears throat> myself included, not young. <laughs> um, what advice would you give from what you've learned from boxing that you'd like to pass on to them that they may be able to get out of it as well? Um, I think discipline is very important. Um, being able to have this mindset of, I want to work harder than the other person. So waking up nice and early, you know, going on a run, being like my opponent or, you know, my rival isn't doing this. I'm waking up nice and early and I'm doing the runs. I'm doing the extra work to put me in a different space. And uh, yeah, just being disciplined, doing that every day. And, you know, yeah, you can have cheat days here and there. You can, you know, do stuff outside of you know, the training and all the this and that. But like, Staying disciplined and focused is so important and then maintaining that. And also, with success, it's, it's a journey. It's not a destination. It's not you reach a certain level and that's it. You can just, you know, stop. Yeah. No, you want to make sure you just continue. It's just constantly building you as a person till you die. And then, you know, you can look back on your life and go, wow, I did. I did all of this. And I'm so proud of myself. You got a message for Jake Paul? Message Jake Paul. I mean, I've made so many messages for Jake Paul, but uh, yeah, he's getting knocked out. <laughs> I can't wait, bro. Yeah. Great for the time. Brilliant. Yeah, appreciate it. Cheers, JJ. Thank, Thank you, man. you very much. Always awesome, awesome, appreciate it. Ah, Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Yeah.